last time, pinag-usapan natin yung equation of a circle in standard form. This time, we're going to talk about the equation of a circle in general form. So, this would be the general form of the equation of a circle. We have ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0, where a and b should not be equal to 0 at the same time, and c, d, and e are real numbers. This equation is obtained by simplifying the standard form of the equation of a circle. So, ito yung origin ng general form natin. Galing siya sa standard form ng equation ng circle. So, again, yung a at yung b ay bawal mawala or maging equal to zero at the same time. Kasi pag both silang mawala, pag wala na yung a at saka b, ibig sabihin wala na rin yung ax squared at by squared, then yung matitira would be a linear form. So, hindi na itong magiging equation ng circle. Now, let's have an example. Suppose we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. What would be the general form of this equation of a circle? So, yung given natin, nakasulat yung equation ng circle in standard form. So, we're going to transform this one into its general form. So, how are we going to do it? First, we're going to square each binomial and, of course, the constant. So, yung first na binomial natin is si x minus 2. Then, we're going to raise that 1 to 2. So, paano ba natin siya gagawin? Una, we're going to square the first term. So, that becomes x squared. Next would be first term times second term times 2. So, it would be x times negative 2. That is negative 2x. Negative 2x times 2, that becomes negative 4x. And lastly, yung last term naman natin, we're going to raise it to 2. So, it will become negative 2 squared. So, negative 2 squared, ibig sabihin niya negative 2 times negative 2, that would be equal to positive 4. So, ito na yung square of a, square of a binomial natin. Yung pinakaunang binomial na given. Next, let's have the next binomial. So, we have y minus 3 squared. So, yung y, we're going to raise it to the power of 2, kaya naging y squared. Next, y minus negative 3, that is negative 3y. Negative 3y times 2, that is negative 6y. And lastly, yung last term naman natin, negative 3 squared, that would be equal to 9. And of course, we're going to raise also yung constant natin na nasa right side ng equation. So, 4 squared is equal to 16. After that one, we're going to combine similar terms. So, we're going to transpose positive 16 na nasa right side. We're going to transfer it sa left side ng equation. Kaya yung positive 16 natin naging negative 16. Then, i-combine lang natin yung similar terms. Kung mapapansin ninyo, yung similar terms lang natin dito ay yung mga constant terms natin. So, we have 4 plus 9, that is 13, minus 16, that would be equal to negative 3. Then, we're going to write the constant as a single number. Kaya, naging negative 3 na lang siya. After that one, we're going to rewrite our given using yung general form. So, sa general form, maunang masusulat si ax squared o yung term na may 2 na exponent. So, x squared yung maunang masulat. Next, x would be yung term na may y squared. So, next na isulat yung by squared. And next would be yung linear term ng x. So, we have negative 4x. Next would be yung linear term ng y. We have negative 6y. And lastly would be our constant. Okay. So make sure na yung final answer natin ay nakasulat based sa general form na binigay natin kanina. Let's try this one. Suppose we have the quantity of x plus 4 squared plus the quantity of y 
plus 1 squared is equal to 5 squared. So, this equation of a circle is written in standard form. So, it change natin siya into general form. Again, we're going to get the square of the binomials and also yung constant natin. So, yung x or the quantity of x plus 4 squared becomes x squared plus 8x plus 16. Yung y plus 1 squared naman becomes y squared plus 2y plus 1. And of course, 5 squared is equal to 25. Then, we're going to transpose positive 25 sa left side ng equation, kaya naging negative 25 na siya. Combine natin yung similar terms. So, 16 plus 1, that is equal to positive 17. Positive 17 minus 25, that is equal to negative 8. Kaya negative 8 na lang yung constant natin. Then, make sure na yung final answer natin ay naka-arrange based dun sa general form ng equation ng circle. So, we, the final answer would be x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. Next example, we have the quantity of x plus 3 squared plus the quantity of y minus 7 squared is equal to 3 squared. Again, square of a binomial tayo sa bawat binomial na given at isi-square din natin yung constant natin na 3. Transpose natin yung 9, kaya naging negative 9 siya. Then, combine similar terms, especially yung nasa constant natin. We have 9 plus 49 minus 9. So, it will become positive 49. Then, arrange the terms according sa general form ng equation ng circle. So, our final answer would be x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 14y plus 49 is equal to 0. Lastly, we have the quantity of x minus 0 squared plus the quantity of y plus 6 squared is equal to 2 squared. So, isi-simplify natin una yung first binomial. So, since 0 to siya, pwede na tayong mag-shortcut. Yung i-raise na lang natin sa power ng 2 would be x. So, x squared becomes x squared. Then, we're going to simplify y plus 6, and we're going to raise that 1 to the power of 2. So, it will become y squared plus 12y plus 36. And, of course, 2 squared is equal to 4. Transpose natin si positive 4, magiging negative 4 siya. 36 minus 4 becomes positive 32. So, the final answer is x squared plus y squared plus 12y plus 32 is equal to 0. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.